Waters Above, Waters Below, Closed System Discussion. Closed System. Hello, everyone. I, I kind of forgot to mention something. I listened to the past video, realized I was going to talk about something that I didn't. So here's a quick supplement on this topic. Uh, the, uh, the position that is held by those who uh, are, I guess you say, flat earthers, or they stand, they say that the Old Testament, the cosmology of the day is the actual physical cosmology of the universe, will often say that the world encased in a um, firmament is a closed system. Now, I, and I said I'd address that, so I will. I might talk about this more later, or maybe this little video will just be part of that number that I'm going to release earlier on. You have to be really, really careful when you import terms from engineering uh, in, into theology or into any other field. When you import terms from one field into another, be really, really careful. Because the first thing I want to ask is, what's a closed system anyways? Well, what, what is that? So, so you, you, let me give you an example of what we would say is a closed system. Your refrigerator has a Freon cycle, and it has a condenser, and it has a heater, and it moves Freon around. Freon is relatively easy to compress gas, and so when it is compressed, it, uh, there's heat produced. When it's expanded, it requires heat, so it causes cold. And that's the relationship that causes your refrigerator to work. So we say the Freon in the fridge is in a closed system. It should never get out into the atmosphere, and nothing from the atmosphere should contaminate it closed system. In a similar way, not quite as closed would be the cooling system in your car. If you have a water-cooled car, it shouldn't have contaminants getting in. It shouldn't also get into the engine and so on. Okay, but really, if you really want to define a closed system, you have to be a little more careful. If your car existed in absolute zero without any external temperature, that closed system would not function. Okay, if it existed, if you put it right up against the sun, it would melt. That closed system wouldn't function either. The system, even though closed, requires external inputs and significant. The same with the Freon system. If you don't put power into the Freon system, the compressor and so on, it's going to all normalize. All the pressure will be the same. There, it will be neither hot nor cold. You know what that's like. Leave your fridge off for a couple of hours and a couple of days, and there's no difference in temperature anywhere. It needs power from the outside. So it's really not a closed system in the sense that it doesn't require anything from the outside. The demands on it are still quite high. Okay, so when someone says, oh, well, you know, the whole, um, the whole earth, the firmament and everything is a closed system, I want to say, please define closed system and please tell me what is required from the outside to keep it functioning. What does it really mean? This is actually really more important in this discussion than you think, because in whether or not you're in a, uh, a, a flat earth, hard physical shell around the earth cosmological position, which I'm not in, or something that is more akin to, uh, to what we understand today where I am, where I think the Bible even supports that, and we'll talk about that a little later, each of those systems are in some respects closed, but they're also in some respects open. They require an enormous amount of external support or energy or whatever. This is really critical to the discussion, okay? And uh, we can draw that out a little while later. So when someone says, oh, well, you know, that's a closed system, that's that we're all just in this nice little shell protected by the, um, by the firmament and so on, you better ask some questions because I don't think they're prepared to, <laughs> to go down that way and to defend that. Okay, so just my little comment. I should have put that in the video. It's supplemental. I hope you enjoy it. Hey, my name is Al Persson. This is a supplement to the video before, or I might even stick it in the others. Who knows? Here we go. Let's go back to that screen, and God bless you. We'll talk again soon.